Good morning. Welcome to my sixth lecture on Fourier series and Fourier transform. In this video, we are going to discuss Percival's identity for periodic signals. Now, let us start with Fourier series. Consider Xt as a periodic signal with time period T naught. So its fundamental frequency, angular frequency omega naught is 2 pi upon T naught and this is in radian per second. Okay. So from free series concept, we know that this periodic signal can be expressed as a summation of sinusoidals. Okay. So we can write Xt as a naught plus summation of a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sin n omega naught t where n is all integers starting from 1 to infinity, all positive integers, right? So this a naught is basically the average value of this signal, periodic signal. So we can compute average 1 upon t naught and area under this curve xt for a one time period t naught. Similarly, we can consider a n, the cosine terms coefficient and that we can compute as 2 upon t naught. First, we will multiply x t with cos n omega naught t, then we will integrate over one time free out. And b n, similarly we can compute for sine functions coefficient. So it is 2 upon t naught integration x t sin n omega naught t dt for one time free out. Right? So this is with respect to trigonometric form with respect to sine social signals and we can have the expression for xt in terms of exponential form. So if you go for exponential form, then this xt can be written as summation of cn e to the power j n omega naught t and where n, be careful, it is both side minus infinity to infinity. And this cn we can compute as 1 upon t naught and we will integrate xt after multiplying the t power minus this minus sign j n omega naught t and dt for a one time period. So this we know, this expansions. Okay. Now uh, here, one thing I want to say that uh, we will be using the conjugate of this coefficient. So, if you take conjugate on the both side, just take conjugate. Okay. So, what you will get? Suppose 
you will get C star if you take conjugate. Okay. So both side you take conjugate. Right? The conjugate as star. So C star would be this one upon T zero because T zero is a real quantity. And this X T can be a com complex that we are considering here. So X star T and its conjugate e to the power minus j in omega t conjugate will be its plus sign e to the power j in omega t and dt and that is for one time so this is a conjugate of the cn okay now let us try to find Percival's identity for complex periodic signal okay so percival's identity but first we will consider that exponential form so we are considering exponential form of Fourier series. So if I use exponential form, then you see this xn can be written as the summation of cn times e to the power j n omega naught t and n is from minus infinity to plus infinity now if i multiply that x star t okay so multiply both side by x star t okay then what we will get so this side it will become x t it was there now it is x star t and right side this one i write c n here i write x star And e to the power j n omega naught t and n is minus infinity to plus infinity right now we will integrate this one with respect to t both side and take average of with respect to time period t naught so if you do that so we will take integration so th this is your x of t that mod square okay and that integration dt and we will divide by t naught right and right side also will do same thing so that integration i will take first and then i will put summation so this summation I will take outside, cn is there fine and here 1 upon t naught and this integration I will put here. So x star t e to the power j n omega naught t and dt. Okay, so this one okay and here n is minus infinity to infinity and you can see this one this is your this one already we have said that it is your c n star because if we consider conjugate of your Fourier coefficient 
then cn starts you see it is 1 upon t0 and integration of x star t one time period t0 dt for j n omega not t dt so this is your t0 okay so if i put that one so this is your cn star so left hand side is this one so you can see that this left hand side will call it p average of the signal average power and that is equal to 1 upon t0 and integration mod of xt that square one time period t0 and the right side we are getting it's a summation cn times cn star n equals to minus 1 sorry minus infinity to infinity so it is same as summation cn that norms mod square so okay so this is the participle identity so this identity 1 upon t0 integration x of t that norm square over one time period t0 is same as the summation of absolute value or magnitudes of cn that square and you have to take summation okay so this is the first of all identity with respect to exponential form so left hand side gives the average power and right side the power of individual components the c0 square c plus 1 square and c2 square all those things those are the individual power of those exponential forms okay now let us consider the trigonometric form so if we consider xt as a real signal real periodic signal then if we use trigonometric form then xt you know that it is a0 plus summation over the sin cos n omega not t plus bn sin n omega not t and n minus infinity to plus infinity the same procedure will do we can multiply xt again by xt both side okay so left side it will become x square t and right side it will be a not times xt and the summation there i'll put in this way it is an then xt then cos an omega not t plus bn xt sin an omega not t okay now integrate both side and divide by t not next one i'll put this thing 1 upon t not then i'll integrate this one x square t dt so for one time period t not then what you will get right side will do for all the components so this is a0 you know with this this one i'll integrate so this is multiplied by 1 upon t not times this x of t 
DT over one time period T naught. And next component the summation in minus infinity to infinity the same times okay now here again I'll put 1 upon t not and integrate x of t this cos n omega not t dt over time period t not and plus this is your bn again multiplied by this one upon t not x of t sin n omega not t and dt this over time period t not now look at this one the right side so this one upon t naught x of t dt this is same as so you can notice that so okay you can rewrite this one so what is your a0 a0 was one upon t0 times x of t dt and what is a n n is one upon t0 times x of t not 1 upon it is 2 upon ok be careful 2 upon t0 x of t cos n omega not t dt for one time period similarly for vn 2 upon t0 ok x of t sin n omega not t dt so so I can replace this one by a0 again and this one you see 1 upon t0 of this one is a n so it should be your 2 I should divide it then I will get this one so it is a n by 2 so that I can write a n by 2 and again similarly this one it is b n upon 2 okay so therefore what you will get this 1 upon t0 integration x square t dt is so a0 a0 multiplication a0 square and then this summation this half is coming outside I am writing here then summation because both side both the term will contain half and here a0 a n a n so a n square and this is your b n that square that is to you should take a summation and then what all you have to take summation for n equal to minus infinity to infinity so this is the Percival's identity so this identity 1 upon t naught integration x square t dt t naught this is the average value of this energy means power part of this sinusoidal part of this periodic signal and that is same as a0 square so this is square plus half times the summation of this a n square and b n square n equals to minus infinity to infinity this is the parts of our side entity in trigonometric form so in the next video we will discuss the problems related to Percival identity. We will find some series and their values, numerical values. Thank you.